This program presents the installation and removal of a Camco 1 inch E dummy valve with a BK2 latch into a 2 and 3 8 inch KBMG side pocket mandrel. For this procedure, a 2 and 3 8 inch OK type kickover tool is used. The procedure used with the Camco OM type kickover tool is identical to the procedures presented here. In an actual completion, the E-dummy valve is latched in the mandrel at the surface. The E-dummy valve is used to blank off communication between the tubing and annular area. The kickover tool is used as the connecting link between the remainder of the wireline tool string and the running or pulling tool. Camco kickover tools are designed to be compatible with Camco orienting type side pocket mandrels and provide alignment with the mandrel pocket regardless of weld deviation. The Camco OK type kickover tool requires a specific tool string according to the operation being performed. The first tool in the string is a rope socket which allows the attachment of the wire line to the string of tools. The wireline stem provides the necessary weight to offset the differential pressure working on the cross-sectional area of the wire within the stuffing box and allows jarring action with the wireline spang or tubular jars. The spang jars provide a stroking distance to deliver a solid blow either up or down to be transferred to the wireline tools. The knuckle joint allows flexing of the wireline string and torsional release of any twisting in the wireline. These tools make up the basic wireline tool string. The specific location of these tools with the string may vary according to application. A JK running tool is used to run the dummy valve with the BK2 latch. The valve is pinned to the running tool before making up the running tool onto the kickover tool. The running tool with the latch and valve attached is then made up to the kickover tool and the string is complete and ready for use. This KBMG mandrel has been cut away to show the entry and exit of the valve and the orientation of the kickover tool. The complete tool string is lowered into the well until the kickover tool is just past the mandrel in which the dummy valve is to be located. The wireline string is then raised until the locating finger in the kickover tool cams into the orienting sleeve, causing the kickover tool to rotate into position so that the valve is located directly in line with the valve pocket in the mandrel. A pull of approximately 200 pounds above the string weight kicks the valve over directly above the pocket. The string is then lowered until a loss of weight on the wireline string indicates that the valve has located the pocket. Downward jarring drives the valve into the pocket where it is latched into place. Upward jarring then shears the JK running tool from the valve latch to allow removal. If the valve did not latch into place, the valve and latch would be returned to the surface when the string is pulled. The orienting finger in the kickover tool repositions in the orienting sleeve of the mandrel. Upward jarring shears a pin in the plunger within the kickover tool allowing the tools to be withdrawn from the well. If any mandrels are located above, the tool string should be pulled slowly through them. After an OK type kickover tool is used, it is necessary to repin the tool before the next operation. This is accomplished by securing the kickover tool in a vise. Knocking the old shear pin material out and installing new shear pins. The fishing neck is then removed. And the arm screw is loosened.
Next, the locating finger is pushed inwards and the finger housing removed. The release plunger and spring are then removed. The finger housing is positioned in the release plunger as shown, not in this manner. With the finger housing in the correct position, it is then repinned with the appropriate shear stock. The finger housing, release plunger, and spring are reinserted into the finger cage while pushing down on the kickover arm. Still pushing down on the kickover arm, the fishing neck is made up. If the kickover tool is to be used immediately, the appropriate running tool and attached device or pulling tool can be made up. Then the arm screw is tightened to retract the arm into the housing. Exercise caution not to over tighten the screw. Over tightening will make excessive pull on the wire line string necessary to activate the kickover tool. The tool is now ready for use. The pulling procedure for the E-dummy valve is very similar to the running procedures. The wireline string is basically the same except a one and a quarter inch JDC pulling tool is used in place of the JK running tool. The tool string is lowered into the well until it is below the desired mandrel. It is then lifted to orient the tool directly above the valve to be pulled. Approximately 200 pounds of tension is applied to the string and the tool kicks over. The tool is then lowered to the fishing neck of the BK2 latch. With a light downward jar, the pulling tool fully latches onto the neck. Excessive downward jarring will shear an emergency release pin in the pulling tool and release the tool from the latch. Upward jarring shears a pin in the BK2 latch, allowing removal of the valve from the mandrel pocket. The orienting finger again aligns in the slot in the mandrel, and upward jarring shears a pin in the kickover tool, allowing removal of the wireline string. Finally, 
The tools are then withdrawn from the well, being careful to run slowly through any additional mandrels. Running and pulling procedures are applicable to all Camco orienting type kickover tools in G-Series mandrels.